Hi everyone, welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I'm a data scientist. So few days back, I created a video on vector databases and some of you requested for a quick demo on that. So that is what is going to be topic of this video. Okay, so let's start guys and I'm going to first show you home page of a very nice vector database uh, that you can find on internet and you can find a lot of documentation on that. So I'll tell you how to read about it and how to know about it. But before, uh, let's see what is this all about. So there is a vector database known Pinecone, known as Pinecone, okay? And as you can see on this page, it says build knowledgeable AI Pinecone serverless lets you deliver remarkable Gen.I application faster at up to 50x lower cost, okay? So the meaning of this is uh, uh, Pinecone, you know, gives you an API which you can use and do a lot of cool things here in the world of vector databases. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick demo and then I'm going to tell you how to learn from there. So let me go here on my home page of my Jupyter notebook. First of all, what you need to do is you need to install the Pinecone DB. Okay, Pinecone client basically. So if you say pip3 install Pinecone client, then the Pinecone client will get installed and nothing else you need to do because these are mostly kind of additional stuff. So main stuff is this only pip, pip3 install pinecon client. Once you do this, what you need to do parallelly is you need to get an API from here. If you if you sign up for free here, right, you will get an API key. That API key, keep it with you. And once you have that key, right, then in this code, you need to put that key. So here I'm saying from pinecon import pinecon and serverless pack. Okay, and PC is equal to Pinecone, API key is equal to blank I'm writing, but here you need to give your API key and run this code. Okay, I have run this once with my key, so it will work now. Moving on, um, what is the highest level of hierarchy in the in the Pinecone vector database is something known as index. So index, you can think of highest level of hierarchy in the pinecone vector db and here in this block of code what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a simple index okay so if i say here for example my index hyphen aman it will create an index with the name my index aman okay it will give a dimension of 1536 this dimension you can give based on whatever vector embedding you are using suppose you are using a 300 dimension embedding so it will be three 300 here okay Metric Euclidean. So if you remember in the theory class, I was telling you distance metric is important in vector database. So it takes some of the distance metric that it uses. Okay. So Euclidean or different distance metrics, you, you already are aware of this. Okay. And then I am simply saying in AWS US West two region, create an index like this for me. This is a simple index. There could be pod based index as well. So the meaning of pod based index is I want to specify what hardware I want for my index. Okay, so I'm creating a simple index. It could be a pod based index as well. Now in the bottom, if you see one more one more example I'm giving quick start example Aman. So if I I had created it while creating, uh, you know, material for this video. So if I try to recreate it, right, then it will give me an error saying this index is already existing. So let me run it for you and show you. So here it will tell me already exists, resource already exists. So what I need to do, I need to change the name of this. Okay, so I will say simple index Aman. So I'm creating an index called simple index Aman. The dimension I'm keeping eight because that is what my embedding dimension, as I told you, you can change it. Euclidean is my distance metric I want to use and this is the zone. Let's create this index. Okay, let's copy the name and let's store that in the index variable once i create an index right then i am ready to push my data into that index okay and that is what is happening in this block of code what i'm telling is go to my index okay create two different namespaces so this is namespace one and this is namespace two okay namespace is basically under level of hierarchy after index and i'm inserting eight different vectors so if you see vector one, vector two, vector three, vector four. So four different vectors here and four different vectors here I'm inserting, okay? If I run this, then it will tell me that four plus four, eight vectors have been inserted in 
two different namespaces. Okay, so insertion is done. Now, if I go and see the stats of this index, right? So it will tell me in in your vector, uh, in your this one, in your this index, you have eight dimension. Okay, in namespace one you have four vector. In namespace two you have four vector. So that is what it is telling me. Fine up to here. Now suppose I want to query that. So what I'm going to say is index dot query namespace. So whichever namespace I want to query, I'm saying namespace two. I'm giving an input vector and I'm telling give me the top three matching vectors from this input vector. Okay, so this top K I can make two, I can make one my choice. But what I'm telling is uh, take this vector and give me the top three matching vector. Now think from a functional point of view how this will be useful in semantic search, in sentence matching, many of GenAI applications. Okay. So what it will go do is it will go to namespace two. It will take this vector and match it with the existing one. So let me run this. And it will give me two vectors which are matching. So if you see it is exactly matching with vector seven. So vector seven it is giving me in the beginning. So see vector seven these values. OK, and the values I supplied here. These values are exactly same. So it is giving vector seven. And Vector six is also near to that. So when I'm asking two, then it is giving me this one and this one. OK. Moving on. If you remember in the theory class, I was telling you can also create some metadata based uh, data in your vector database. OK, that is exactly what is happening here. So here I will say pinecone index three and I'm going to say eight dimension again. Same these things I've explained. Let me make it three. And here what is happening is. I'm saying go to this and insert ID is a I'm giving a value and I'm also saying metadata in metadata. I'm saying genre is equal to comedy and year is equal to 2020. OK. Similarly, for my second vector, I'm saying genre is equal to documentary and year is equal to 2019. For the third vector, I'm saying this one for the fourth vector, I'm saying genre is drama. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create vectors with the metadata. The use of this is you can also run your query using metadata. So let me create this first. And if you see here, guys, I'm doing a query here. OK. In the query, I'm saying take my input vector. OK, take my input vector. Genre is equal to documentary. Go to these something. Go to those vectors where metadata matches this. OK. And then give me the top K1 results. So include metadata when I say true, right? So it will include metadata and it will do the search. OK, so this is basically a metadata based searching and metadata based stories that I showed you now. From here, I can delete individual vectors also. For example, if I say delete D, it will delete it. And here, if I want to see states again, it will tell me only three vectors you have. But initially, as you saw, there were four vectors. OK. I can simply go here and create. Or delete any index that I created. OK, so whatever I am showing you till now is basically creation of index, creation of namespaces, putting some data, querying that data, metadata uses and some basic deletion and updation. OK, but this is just the starting point, as I told you guys. My job here as a tutor or as a as somebody who wants your career growth is not to feed you everything, right? So I want first of all to get that interest going in you. Okay, so for example, if you don't know what is vector database, maybe you will not go to Google and search it. So what what I have to do is I have to go and create a video, then you will be interested. Then if I show you some basic codes like this, then you will be a little more interested. And then it's your job to go and research and do little more on that to improve your skills, because if you don't practice, it is not going to work. OK, so now if you are interested, then you have to go and you have to go here and you have to go to the documentation. I'm going to show you some very cool stuff here. Go to the documentation. And simply go to. So uh, if I have not told you yet, then if you sign up for free, you will get your own API key. OK, so that's a simple thing. Go to overview. And go to 
how this spine con db is working with for example lang chain or open ai so if you can see here lang chain open ai hugging face amazon sage maker everything is there so for example if i take open ai what you have to do is you have to go here and see how it is working and then you have to practice it okay most of the codes are here so it will be mostly plug and play but it will be more interesting than what i was showing you now the reason being it will include the actual embeddings and it will include the actual models as you can see here okay so my request to you is go ahead and do some practice if you are interested in this topic okay and believe me this is one good thing to add in your resume that is why i covered it in two separate videos okay so just go here and do langchain hey hey stay hugging face elastic search data dos data bricks so whatever integration you want to see you can do it from here okay so please drop me a comment guys if you like this video i'll so i'll see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care